My name is Emily O'Grady and I'm delighted to have my novel Feast longlisted for the 2024 Stella Prize. I'm a writer from Brisbane. Um, my first novel, The Yellow House, which explores girlhood and patriarchal violence in rural Queensland, won the Vogel Award in 2018. Um, for Feast to be longlisted for the Stella and to be part of the prize's history of championing women and non-binary voices in Australian writing is incredibly meaningful and a great honour. Feast is a novel set in Scotland and takes place over the weekend of Neve's 18th birthday. It's Neve's gap year and she's left Australia to stay with her um, her father Patrick, who was a former rock star, and her stepmother Alison, um, who uh, was a once famous actress. The couple live in an isolated, uh, dilapidated castle, which sort of serves as this microclimate of, of chaos and hedonism and debauchery, much to Neve's chagrin. Um, so when Neve's mother arrives for the birthday party, cracks begin to form in this delicate facade of the unconventional family unit and each character is forced to reckon with their repressed histories with unnerving results. Uh, Feast is told from the perspective of um, these three women and interrogates power uh, and desire as well as the innate human um, capacity to be cruel to ourselves and the ones we love. I was elated to find out I was longlisted for the Stella Prize. Writing a novel is a really isolating undertaking and when you're in the middle of a first draft, it's impossible to, um, to really anticipate how it will be received or whether it will connect with readers. So for Feast to be recognised by um, the Stella Prize is incredibly validating and affirming. Um, knowing that it made an impact on the judges really means a lot to me as a writer uh, and I'm extremely grateful to be included in the long list.